All right, this is not. <laughs> I'm going to try to uh, get us to. Oh, goodness, come on. Um, I wanted to look at the photos of the scene as I've loaded them up in the uh, mock trial. Um, let me see if I can. Let me get this to pause. Oh, goodness. It is just nuts. Um, so that's my dog, um, Molly. That's Thomas. The other two photos were looking east and west. Here we are approaching the bridge. There's a bridge over the Sherritt Creek. I've tried to set this slower, but it just won't go. And you can see on the creek itself, the track bends. I mean, this is a really poorly engineered railroad. And one of the things you can see here is you get about a 20, 30 foot drop down to Sherritt Creek. Um, this is all silted in a little bit. We're going to kind of see that things, um, it moves pretty quickly. Over on the south side, and we're kind of looking southeast there, and I have this correct. Um, it isn't quite that steep. It's maybe eight feet. So this is going to go pretty quick. I, this is a Microsoft app, and it seems to be the only thing I can get up and running. Everything else was just, all the free apps just weren't working well. But you can see, this is a pretty steep slope. So in Clark's defense, he may not have wanted to go to the left side. Um, so here we are kind of looking south, southwest. Um, this is a little bit west of where it got hurt where he got hurt, I think. And then here we are. Notice the big curve. That's really pretty big as we're going further west. And way in the distance here, you can see the Sherritt Creek Bridge. We'll come up on it pretty quickly. And you can see we're at mile 080. And that's an iron bridge. Um, pretty interesting structure. Uh, so this is, I think, 1.8 miles from uh, Marthasville itself, and here we are, a little artsy photo maybe, but notice all the triangles. That tells you how steep it is. Here, my recollection, this is a 15, 18 foot drop. There's Thomas again. I can't remember if I brought these guys water or not, but here's Sherritt Creek. Now this is west, and this actually cur curls back around, and the way we're looking here to the east, this is a view to the west. Uh, look, you know, I turned around there, and then here we are at the main road into Marthasville. And there's the uh, Marthasville little station um, for the Katy Trail. Notice just east of here, it has another big bend, and then we're looking west from that shed towards uh, where we just went out. Pretty big bend. This is. Uh, you know, it's really a, not a very well-constructed railroad. Um, and then here are some just map sites. But you've got these pictures in the uh, folder. I deleted some of them. But see, Marthasville, 77.7. So that was 80. That's 2.3 miles. Um, I don't think they went that far. Uh, so anyway, let me see if I can. Does it stop? All right, so I may run through these one more time. That's a little look east. Um, here we are coming up on the, uh, that's Miss Molly. Uh, she was a beautiful girl, died about two months after this. There's Thomas. Uh, he's pretty cray-cray. He uses a walking harness because he's so nuts. Notice the slope on the right side. You're up right against the bluff here. So the, here we come to Sherritt Creek. This is just bad engineering to have a curve in the middle of a bridge. It's really shocking to me. Um, and again, pretty steep on the uh, north side of the track, down into a creek, which, you know, you could land face plant into the water. Um, and that's maybe what Jim did. Uh, Jim actually face planted on the left side. And these guys were facing east. So when we're looking east, um, that, this is the left side of the track, looking at that. And you can see pretty rocky, pretty dangerous. The overgrowth is, is because the railroad is no longer there. Clark and his crew would have kept this area clear. Uh, they would not have permitted this. And then here we see a little out of that. Here are some just 
farm fields. This one is a southern view. The prior to that was north. Um, we're looking back to the east here. Here we are a little bit further on to the west. Really pretty good corners, you know, just a lot of curves in this track. Here's a nice long stretch of track. I'm kind of kicking myself. I didn't photograph past the creek because there's another corner not very far past this bridge. Um, so this is pretty, yeah, you can see a little of it. This is pretty windy track for a railroad. Um, you know, it, rail, if you, railroads try to be pretty straight to the extent they can because once they get up to speed, they can just run. Um, so this is way west of where Clark likely would have been hurt, probably a mile west or more. That's 2.3 miles from Marthasville. At most, they walked about a mile and a half or two miles. Um, so that was an east view. This is a west view. Uh, here we are uh, back at Marthasville. You can see a you know, seven, eight foot slope. I don't know if it's silted in, you know, but an eight foot slope all the way along this railroad makes this mildly hazardous. You know, two to three feet, people don't get hurt. Five, six, seven, eight feet, uh, you know, go outside and jump off a table that's eight feet up in the air and see if you don't twist an ankle or break a bone or do something. Um, anyway, so not perfectly done here, but you can look at the uh, photos themselves. They're loaded in, uh, in a flash drive in the mock trial page. Uh, I hope this helps you a little. It's kind of to help set the scene for Clark.